For this demo, we're going to create a couple of active active volumes using a consistency group. Then we'll demonstrate resizing volumes and adding a volume to the group. First of all, I'm using Horsepower Tools to create a 100 gigabyte volume. Horsepower Tools is a host application which allows the host administrator to self-provision volumes. I have disk management open here too, so you can see the rescan and format operations as they happen. Now we'll create a second volume, this time 50 gigabytes. You can choose which pool to use and whether you want a thick or thin volume. It's worth pointing out at this stage that we're creating these volumes on a single Infinibox system. We'll use the Infinibox GUI to replicate them once we're done here. We'll take a quick look at multipathing. There should be six paths per volume as Infinibox uses triple active controllers. We'll use the Windows CLI to look at the paths, and we can see that there were six optimized paths as expected. Now into the GUI, and with a quick refresh, we can see our volumes. And we're going to go ahead and create a consistency group. Now we can add our members. And now we want to replicate the group. Choose Active Active, select the remote system and give a name for the remote consistency group. Choose a pool and hit Create. Initial sync should be pretty quick as the volumes are empty. On the remote system, we can see our group and it has two members. We don't need to do anything with it, but we do want to map it to the host. We can also do this using host power tools, but we'll just do it here. You can see the volumes themselves have auto-generated names. This is to ensure that the names cannot clash with pre-existing volumes. Renaming the volumes is trivial. Hit modify volume and give it a name. This one's actually volume two. And now we'll do the other volume. Back in Windows, we need to rescan to see the extra paths. Host Power Tools does this automatically, of course. And you can see there are now 12 paths. Back in the GUI, we're going to resize the first volume. We need to briefly suspend the replica to do this. Now we can resize the volume itself. The remote copy of the volume will automatically expand. And now resume the replica. You can see in disk management that Windows has detected the extra capacity. I prefer to rescan it after every change regardless. And you can see that the paths have not changed at all. To actually use that extra space, we need to extend the volume. Now we're going to create a completely new volume and add it to the consistency group. We can do this using host power tools as before. Note that this volume is not yet active active. In the GUI, we need to suspend the replica again.
You can see here that the target volume will be automatically created before it's added into the group. Finally, we resume the replica. Again, the volume name is auto-generated, so we'll do a little tidy up. Back in Windows, we'll do a quick rescan. You can see there are still only six paths. We do still need to map the remote copy of the volume. Again, host power tools can do this, or we can just use the Infinibox GUI. Another rescan, and you can see all 12 paths are now there.